Hello again, it's Michael from Fujifilm. The GFX 100S. I just love this camera. I love it. And since it went on sale in the middle of March, it's generated quite a bit of interest among videographers and not just still photographers. And the reason for that is because inside this compact body is that giant, giant sensor which gives you 4K 10-bit recording options, both internally and out through the HDMI. But that large format sensor gives uh, cinematographers and directors new options for lens choices and therefore perspective control and composition. So creative choice is a good thing. So that's really, really nice. Now, um, Many independent productions and small uh, crew films and documentaries, of course, don't have the budget for necessarily Hollywood-style uh, post-production and grading workflows, and therefore uh, can't avail themselves of the full camera raw outputs that many cinema cameras generate. And a lot of those uh, cinema cameras require dedicated recorders in order to get the actual camera raw out of it. But there is actually something really good that's sort of a universal solution out there that gives you the choice of recording something called ProRes RAW, which is a step above the Fuji Log um, in terms of gradeability and dynamic range. And it gives you the flexibility of RAW recording in a manageable file format. And the way you get it is by pairing the GFX 100S or the GFX 100 with an Atomos Ninja V recorder, which you see here sitting on top of this 100S that I have in a cinema cage. Now first, this is not a special cage. This is a cage that was uh, actually designed several years ago for DSLRs. And because the GFX 100S is smaller than almost every DSLR out there, you should have no problem finding a cage to put this camera in. You know, one thing to look for is to make sure it has a clamp on the side that will hold the HDMI cable in place so you don't tweak it and possibly bend it or have intermittent connections. But also with the cage is you can put an articulating arm on the top which lets the Ninja V recorder sit at any angle you want in any position. Uh, I also have, you can see, a small clamp on mat box here in the front and I'll explain how I use that. Uh, and then of course you can slide this whole assembly right onto a base plate on a tripod with rods so you could put uh, follow focus and uh, motors on there for aperture control and stuff like that. So this, as you can see, a hand-holdable, not very heavy uh, cinema rig that you can use for all kinds of run-and-gun shooting or, you know, even more laid-back productions. So what we're going to talk about in this episode is how to set up your camera and recorder to get the ProRes RAW output, all right? Uh, for full tech specs on ProRes RAW and the workflow, you need to go elsewhere, like to Atomos' website. But we're going to talk about setup and just basic operation. So the first thing is very important is you've got to make sure that your Ninja V is on the newest firmware or at least something recent. Okay, again, go to the Atomos website to find out what firmware you need in order to have the ProRes RAW capability for the Fujifilm GFX100 cameras. Secondly is you are going to need to get an activation code. So by default when you get the recorder out of the box the ProRes RAW feature is not enabled. So go to the Atomos website and look up the information on how do you activate ProRes RAW on the Ninja V. It's not difficult but it is something you need to do. Uh, thirdly, I want to point out is, you know, get yourself a good HDMI cable. I recommend using the HDMI 2.0 spec, but don't just get some cheap little silly cable that you bought at the drugstore uh, next to where all the chewing gum is sold. Get yourself a high quality HDMI cable because if you're going to worry about ProRes RAW, then it's assumed that you want the best signal quality you can possibly get. All right, now. Uh, the third thing I want to point out is when you turn on ProRes, uh, the raw output, I should say, on the GFX100 and the GFX100S, 
it's going to force the camera into ISO 1250. Okay, yes, that's a very high ISO. That should not be a problem if you're shooting in a studio, but obviously outside, you're going to need ND filters, okay, especially shooting at a 48th of a second, which is a 180 degree shutter. So that's a, one of the reasons that I have the clamp on matte box here, is so I can slide in uh, ND filters. Now, don't be alarmed about the high ISO. That is actually standard practice among, uh, as far as I know, all the cameras out there that do ProRes RAW. Some are even require you an ISO of like 2500 or 3200 in order to do it. Okay, so uh, yes, it's high. You'll have to use ND filters, but that's the way it is in order to get the maximum quality of the signal out of the sensor. Okay, so Setting up the camera, first of all, is not that difficult. Uh, you go into the menu. Uh, when you have the camera set into the movie mode, go into the menu and go down to the recording options where you'll see the line item that says F-Log and RAW recording. Just go to the right and then scroll down using the joystick until you find the RAW HDMI recording options. Now you'll see also you have options on how to record internally as well. So this is great because you could record to the SD card either with a film sim, Rec. 709, which is great for editing, or in F-Log or in HLG. And then you have the full ProRes RAW output going to the Ninja V through the HDMI. Uh, so you pick which one you want to use. And then once you've done that, uh, you go to the uh, setup options on the recorder itself. So under the codec choice, uh, you're going to want to enable ProRes RAW. Now, the recorder, as soon as you enable RAW output on the camera, the recorder is going to detect that and it's going to give you actually an on-screen display that says, ProRes RAW detected. Make sure you've got the correct codec. So you verify that and it's that simple. You're good to go. Now, sometimes if you have the ProRes RAW uh, codec enabled on the Ninja V, but then you switch the camera back to say F-Log or film sim recording, what you'll see in the upper left corner of the Ninja V is a little red uh, warning. It says uh, not a raw signal. Okay, it's going to tell you you're getting you're you're set to ProRes RAW, but you're not getting it from the camera. So that's a mismatch, and it's not going to work right. Okay, so that's simple of setting up the codec and the camera. Now, one additional thing you should do on the Ninja V is go to the monitoring options, which is the red button at the bottom right corner of the screen. It's got like three lines on it. You tap that, it will open some monitoring options. And go to that monitor tab, and you'll be presented with a choice of buttons. It'll say, <clears throat> like, native, uh, 709, HLG, P okay, and stuff like that. This does not affect the recorded signal at all, okay? This affects how you see the picture on the screen of the Ninja V. Now, if you choose Rec. 709, it's going to look absolutely dreadful because the ProRes RAW signal is so hugely expansive of dynamic range and the colors are so far out of range of what the Rec. 709 co uh, uh, space is capable of handling that it's going to look absolutely dreadful. Um, I suggest you choose either the HLG or the PQ. Uh, those are HDR uh, uh, encodings, and you'll see the picture is going to look really pretty and very, very manageable. Uh, that's it. Plain and simple. That's all you need to do for using ProRes RAW recording with the Atomos Ninja V and the GFX100 cameras. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.